Hi there, so I'm coming in to you with my first update for um, the reading group by Elizabeth Noble. Um, I started, I must admit, I started this um, a couple of days into May because I was, I was finishing another book and um, I, I don't like starting and finishing books at different times. It confuses me. But um, this is a copy that I picked up from a charity shop. This is a 2000 and um, I think it's 4, 2004 edition. Um, there is another different cover uh, which is a bit more modern uh, but I do I do quite like this cover um, just purely because the words, the reading group is, is made up of, I don't know if you can see it, if I can put it in as close as I can it's made up of little books and, and the books that are featured on here are actually the books that they read um, so um, as usual I'll just start off by reading the blurb New beginnings, a glass of wine and a gossip and a good book. The reading group is born. Its members are as different as the books as the books they read, but each woman has secret hopes and fears for a new lover, a straying husband, an ailing mother, a tearaway teenager, and each woman finds laughter and support in the group's monthly meetings. Happy Ending, a warm, funny, touching novel about a group of women learning to read between the lines. So this, my copy here, I'll just show you what I have here. I do like the illustrations on this book. It's quite a hefty book, the one that I have here. It is 466 pages, so this is going to go well with my big book challenge, um, thankfully. I am... Let's have a look. I am 129 pages in, so I'm about that far at the moment. Um, it's the writing in it is very um, quite. If I can show you in a good, there we go. It's quite bunched up, so it does it does take a bit of time to get through. It's not. It, I wouldn't say it was a very. I wouldn't say it was a like a a quick read. Um, but I'm really, I'm really enjoying this book so far. This is the first book that I've read, written by Elizabeth Noble. Um, I know I have, um, I have a collection of her books somewhere behind me, because um, they all sound at really fantastic. Um, but um, I'm really enjoying this so far. I have to admit that when I saw the title, the reading group. Um, and obviously read the blurb on the back, and I thought that this might be a story that has quite a lot of quite a lot of different characters in it, and a story that it might take me a while to get into to get you know to get to know the different characters and and what they're all about. Um, but I have to say I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm just trying to find the way this is the way this um, this book is is kind of set out is you've got here it's, it's a chapter called the books and we got through January to December and it's headed up by each book that they're reading that month um, so for example January they're reading Heartburn by Nora Ephron um, and, the, and February I capture the castle um, March is atonement and and so and so on um, now what I've learned so far with up to up to 129 pages is I don't know where it's gonna take me, but so far this story is is more following the characters the characters of the reading group rather than actually the reading group group and what they're doing. There there is there is parts in every chapter where they're kind of coming together and they are talking about the book and how they feel about that book that they're reading that month. Um, which is really interesting, um, but then it kind of breaks away, and you kind of follow every kind of different um, characters' journeys. Um, so let's just see if I can, because I'm just getting to fit, getting to the feel of the characters. So um, <clears throat> you've got um, where is it? I should be organised. I apologise. Um, where is it? Uh, 
let's take for example it's it's got a chapter heading so we've got the February reading group and you've got a little excerpt of the what they're reading and then smack bang you go right into the actual reading group um, and what they're talking about and then it follows on from there um, so you you've got various different characters that I'm, I'm learning I'm learning how to you know we you know what their lives are like I mean from memory you've got Claire um, you've, got, you've got Claire and Elliot who cannot have a baby Claire really wants a baby but she, I think she's had some miscarriages um, so things aren't going very smoothly and um, I don't think their relationship is quite as solid as it used to be um, you've got you've got Nicole who is uh, I'm guessing quite a kind of a rich socialite type of character um, that's, that's the impression I'm get, getting anyway and her husband is a womanizer um, who he, he you know, I'm not quite sure whether he has cheated or will cheat I'm not sure um, so I think who else is there um, oh you've got Susan um, and I cannot remember her partner's name but her, her and her partner have a fantastic marriage um, the only problem is that her mother isn't well I'm I'm not going to say I'm not going to say what I think it, you know what you know what's happening in it because I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's reading it at the moment um, but you've got several other characters as well and I have to say I was kind of a little bit worried when starting this book um, as to um, you know whether I'm going to really feel for all the characters because there's so many um, but I really am I, I really am I'm really feeling for the Claire character at the moment because she's kind of really down in the dumps and um you know she can't have a baby she wants a baby and to top it all off she works as a nurse in a maternity ward i don't know how this character does it it's it's i'm, I'm, I'm very interested to find out how she well hopefully pulls herself out of it but i'm really enjoying this book so far um i've got a long way to go it's quite a hefty book but it's very easy to read. Um, it's not one that I'm I'm kind of struggling to turn the page to read. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm going really good with this so far. Um, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm really loving it, really loving it, and the style of writing as well is is, is just so kind of, it just flows and it's just easy to read. Um, so yeah, this is my um, my first update for for this month so um yeah thanks for watching